What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to round off up last time, we pretty much did a whole bunch of Empire building. Uh, we knocked the French off the continent when we took... Um, I can't even remember the name of the territory. Um, the last territory bordering the 13 colonies to the northeast. And then we are now attacking the last British territory on the continent. Um, Rupert Factory, or Rupert's Land, Moose Factory, Rupert's Land. And we're going to hit Xavier Coulson with our army under Julien Sayers. Let us take them out. Let's add another province to our empire, then march this army south. And I may even send the general on a bit of a fort building exercise to guard some of the crossings over to Quebec and Montreal and add a small garrison in them. So. Let's deploy a set of guns. Set up our Louisiana troops in the centre. Deploy a second gun. No, that's pretty bad positioning, really. Can't put one, nestle one right on top of this hill. I have to put both my guns together over here because they at least get it. Well, they get a slightly better field of, field of view. Not brilliant. Let's march up a section of line. Something like that. Move our grenadiers and infantry in on the extreme left flank. Drop unit of cavalry on each flank. General in the centre. Okay, so. See if we can, at the very least, try and find their native bow units. Straight to the Hessian line infantry unit because they're running and they're also weak. They're disorganised, I should say. We're going to lose some cavalry to this Hessian line infantry unit, but we're going to get a good cavalry charge into them. They get the mounted tribal auxiliary, so now go try to take out the general's bodyguard. Push my general through. This session line is responding to the threat against the general. Just keep my men running. Let's take these guys. them up and we've accidentally found their cluster of troops that guy went flying got a dodge cavalry you can't take them all on This 
who's firing by rank? Yeah, they are, so it's nice to know the Brits have finally caught up. <laughs> the Brits have finally caught up with Louisiana. No cavalry run! It's a great danger close shots. Okay, let's push these men up to the ridge. Unsurprisingly, our cavalry routed because they probably got caught in a big crossfire with our own men. Have they gone? Have they hit like right there? Have, but I don't want to push them up too much. Yep, yeah, there they are. Don't necessarily care so much about killing them all. Mainly because this is a territory capture job. Session foot unit spread really far out. Take him out. Yeah. These native bowmen trying to engage. Here comes the Hessian, Hessian guard or Hessian foot line infantry unit. But my Louisiana grenadiers are not having it when they finished reloading, that is. Ready? Ah, oh, they must have routed. Yep, yeah, they did. Yep, yeah, these are regulars. They must realise their efforts are doomed. The British Empire is. British Empire is dead until the Falklands, the Falklands are taken, then we'll come back more powerful than ever before. Wait a minute, Falklands? What are the Falklands? You haven't gone that far south. So, excellent foot artillery battalions. Are continuing glorious fight. Let's straighten these out. Storm. These men storm through. Storm through the town, or I can't really deploy them. And it looks like ah, there's a unit of Hessian line infantry that's coming back. There always, there's always one. Speed this up because there's just. Oh, just. Just smash straight into them. That'll all. The remnants will, will, will run. There they go. 
because it's a city battle, we may as well end it. Excellent. I mean, we'll stay in position to stabilise it. And I'm curious, will we start losing Catholicism? No. Is there a friendly priest nearby? No. Just him. Maybe it's because he's so... No, he's so bad he can't convert the population. Let's repair. There is a chance that they will... The Huron will dislike us enough because of that. I can't ally because they're allied with the French. Let's build a smith. They've got palatial estates here. Britain's got some good tech. Can't build anything here because they've got no cash. That's okay. Yeah, that was done. We know that. Flying shuttle. Yep. We've reallocated towards division of labour. Let's probably start marching these line infantry units north. Pity the fastest route is still through the Native American territories. But I want to get my uh, the general in, Rupert, in Moose Factory back to Montreal to build some roads. Not build some roads, build some forts to cover the crossings. That way we don't have to worry about the 13 colonies going after Quebec. And we can then compress them into the position we want them to be in. I think that will work out quite well. Our eye is on the 13 colonies. Like I said, I'm okay with the pirates doing things. Yeah, see, that's fine. I'm okay with the pirates raiding and such like um, because like I said it keeps the British busy with things I couldn't actually do you're getting melt roads so now you can as can you you'll soon get your governor's house governor's, your new governor's building good stuff and now we've reached the point where we can't actually we don't have any need to spend all of our money per turn, which is rather nice. Yeah, once we declare war on Britain, then, well, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably have to deploy my army here to fight this front, then just blitz these guys south, tip Falmouth to maybe draw these guys north. That's my intention. There is a risk that the Cherokee don't join us, in which case then things get a lot trickier because we might end up having a potentially hostile power on our borders, but if they don't declare on us, then we will just declare on them in future. For being oath breakers, we will root them out. Oh, now my tea's definitely cold. Not that you'll... Yeah. <laughs> I've just finished some Ottoman parts, so if you hear me complaining about warm tea, then, now it's cold. So let's just finish it off. Mm. There's definitely a place for tea and coffee in your life. Coffee's when you need to really get up and go, whereas tea's kind of like if you if you want a bit of caffeine and you don't mind taking it a bit slow, I find it much more palatable. Coffee in general for me is really bitter. Like I can I can deal with it if I'm in the mindset to drink coffee. I can drink tea anytime, but I need I need to be in the right mindset to drink coffee. Okay, let's keep you marching back as quickly as you can. And probably actually have some troops for you to pick up. So I'll I'll, dis I'll likely well I'll reallocate your militia. I won't disband them keep them as a garrison I suppose ok 
Okay, let's upgrade this building. Let's upgrade the steam, the silver mine. The craft workshops being upgraded. You're getting metal roads. It's rather nice to be in a position where we've got more money than we can spend. I do have to admit that. But yeah, I want to build a fort here. I probably want to build a fort here to protect a this crossing and also this gap. Or do I just build a fort here? No, I need to respond if they decide to come through here. Yeah, so fort here. Army here to smash east immediately if we need to. Yeah, that's a good idea. Two more turns till we get um, division of labour. Then we can upgrade both our ports, <laughs> all two of them. But then that opens up more more possibilities for trade. Although I don't don't really know who we can trade with. It's nice to be trading with the Mughal Empire because it keeps them on our side and also means they might not attack us. But I would very much like to grow the Louisiana Navy as a matter of course. Oh, Venice is going to come and <laughs> interfere with us, I suspect. One more turn. Yep, so everything's upgraded the max it can possibly be. So you have Upper Louisiana has no more villages. Um, New Orleans, its villages aren't growing, and it has two, I can see Little Rock and Baton Rouge. I'll probably build one of these into a university in order to get down to this bottom set. You can only get to Classical University outside of your home province. Your capital province, you have to get a modern university. You can only build that in your capital. Yes, sir. So you keep moving up. Okay, let's just start recruiting troops to occupy these forts. As we have no money. Forts are expensive, but we can... We will find ourselves in a position where we can just dump dump a wooden fort, then upgrade it to a star fort, and so on. Actually no, we don't want a star fort. Not exactly. Really I could have been I could also have been building up capacity to expand into the Caribbean, which might not be a bad idea. No, I think it makes I think it makes sense to focus on the large and rather immediate threat of three, three that we know of, four possibly stacks of British troops. Well, thirteen colonies are effectively British. Uh, on our doorstep, we'll have two armies plus a couple of garrisons to help stem the tide. Even if we don't end up. Even if we lose some forts, it will still be worthwhile to act as a speed bump, but also to damage them. I can't upgrade the one in Quebec, it's already upgraded. Whereas uh, Fort, Fort Louis de la Mobile can be upgraded. Hey, and our plantations upgrade, get upgraded too. And St. Frontiac has grown. Question is, do we make it a, uni a school? They will be fairly happy, and the next town is growing pretty quickly, so I think I will. Let's bring you back again. Yeah, we've sorted them out. War declared between Spain and Austria. Good. I mean, Spain's even less likely to look at us. Yes, my lord. Um, like five or six units of line probably won't be able to hold all them off, but it will damage them severely. So 
is Falmouth now. Falmouth is 100% Catholic, so let's move, the, move my priest up to Boston. Get visibility of what's going on up there. Do I want utilitarianism or do I want spinning mule? Because I've got lots of, uh, lots of weaver's cottages and so on. Prosperous weaver's cottages as well. High yield, low yield, prosperous, wealthy, 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 meag yield. Yeah, so our farms could do with a bit of an upgrade, but we've only got one school, so there's only so much we can do. But it's really nice we're now building up this massive war chest. It means we can suddenly build... Well, it means I could build that army to go explore the Caribbean. But like I said, I want a navy. That's what I want. That's what I need. And to get a navy, I have to attack. I have to take Philadelphia to get the Naval College, to get access to the tax. So we're going to blitz, try and blitz through the 13 colonies as quickly as possible. In, in a way, hope the Cherokee don't join the British. Well, don't join us in attacking the British. We want to, we kind of hope they break the alliance. Because then we can take those territories in the interior. We won't have any enemies within to worry about. We can fortify our borders and look elsewhere. We can look at our enemies like the British. Mine workshop, steampunked mine. Good stuff. You're running a lot of cash. Okay, so priest, Forward. not priest, general. Ready and waiting for Drop down a four. Then let's send them over here. Can they honestly not leave? I'm going to set the upgrading to the next level fort. We can also actually make sure they pick up, Forging leave the militia the behind, pick up the two guns and the two more Anything skirmishes. Probably one more unit of line. For okay. Oh man, I, <laughs> I think I've got to build up another army, realistically. <laughs> Getting 15,000 a turn, I've got nothing to do with it. Oh man, New Orleans, the population is tiny. To be honest, all of the populations are tiny. Can I not build those neat cool units up here? No, I cannot. Well, let's recruit these three elite units from the population down here. And then we'll probably also recruit a general. And then we'll, we'll draw in recruits from across the empire. It's probably a good idea. Boston is currently empty, which is nice. Might not be for long. Still launching fireworks. Still! <laughs> it's been nearly two hours. There's a lot of British troops in the Bahamas. Granted, they're not going to be very good troops because they're recruited from a colony or a colonial outpost, so they're never very good. But this one's peace. Yeah, sure. I'll take peace. It means it's not another random enemy I have to worry about. So we're getting ready to convert Boston. I mean, Boston will also have a college, so this may end up becoming redundant, and if it is, I'll just destroy it. Hey, you've got gentlemen. Okay, Philippe Babouf. So he's going to recruit artillery. Recruit some cavalry. We've got another infantry unit being recruited here. And we're also going to build some infantry. This is probably part of the reason why towns... Hey. That was close. 
Baton Rouge is growing in six turns, weirdly. That means it's our growth rates. That's really weird. Okay, let's upgrade the sugar plantation. If you leave, does the art does the fort keep building? Good. This one's probably gonna be slightly longer as well. So let's drop. I can't do anything about the fireworks, so if it's frustrating, I'm sorry. So what have we got here? Four line, two militia. Four line, two militia. Then they'll go down and support the fort to the south. Can't do anything but, but burn turns while I build up my defensive line. At least they're actually launching fireworks at a reasonable time. And somewhere, luckily, I can see them out of my window. It's always unfortunate when you can hear. You can hear fireworks going off, but you can, can't actually see them. But yeah, so this episode is pretty much just a long preparation for attacking the British. Ooh, the Falmouth garrison has moved. See, there's always a chance they may declare on me first. But if they do, they will suffer. <laughs> Let's get you on the move. Let's upgrade the school. Let's get you researching. Probably some more military tech. Let's get you on. No, that's a bit too advanced. Let's get you on government by consent. Good. So this is the garrison force for the fort down here. Upgrade to the port. Can we trade with anyone new? Spain. Austria. Austria is a good idea. Spain obviously is unhappy because we're, we're expanding in territory they would probably rather like to have. There's no super brilliant ministers showing up. We've not got any exposed ministers. Okay, you've still got lots of recruitment to go. It's going to take ages for those grenadiers to get down there, but we've still got a bit of turn burning to go, so it's not a massive problem. Got one. Ooh, proper. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty typical um, as soon as the French send an actual navy to escort their army uh, we we are also recruiting another army uh, no I don't want grenades I'm not giving you advanced irrigation 13 colonies are manoeuvring their troops around but to no real end Spinning mule. So you're on 13,000 because you recruited loads more troops. Don't go for that. Go for blast furnace. I don't, I don't get how blast furnace can be is more difficult to research than puddling furnace, but whatever. Good. It's so got our fort. Fort Boyard. So you get in position. Ready can't build a fort yet because he's got no movement points. Spend a bunch of cash upgrading our weaver's cottages. So that's going to suck up a lot of cash. With good reason though. That's going to produce us loads of money. So I don't think I am going to intercept that French army, navy, wherever it went. The British have taken Curacao. Let's actually check some of the other regions in a minute. So the Mughals are the dominant power. It's good with Friendly of the dominant power. Hanover rebelled. 
The Austrians are a bit stretched out. They've taken Venice, so Venice, even if we didn't see it, didn't sue for peace, it won't matter. And they all at each other's throats. Yes. Largely. What about Britain? Who's Britain fighting? Us. Spain. Oh, they are at war with Spain. Okay. Make ready. By the land. Grunt is not a very well balanced, are we? Let's do a bit of that. I'm not going to try to find them. They're going to have to land somewhere before we move on them. So a bit more time to regroup our positions. There's our grenadiers. They're going to start the long walk south. Part of the reason why it's good to have all metal roads. Britain's on the march. Oh, they might be about to pick up that army and redeploy it. So there's the French Navy. They're going to drop it off the coast of Florida. If they did that, that'd be great, because it means I could take it. That would be pretty good. I would march, take that army that's going to go around the Caribbean, march them east and secure Florida. That would be lovely. It's a lot of fireworks. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that, yeah. There was a bang and a crackle, normal firework. Then it was just a loud boom and no noise. No whew, No ee, No pop, 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 pop. Nothing. It does make one curious as to what the intention is. Because, I mean, I'm no saint. I'd used, uh... Bought French bangers. And they were great. Oh, firecracker once that was great fun sadly all all illegal here because idiots blow their fingers off and then no one can have fun but france fortunately doesn't care and no one checks the ferries <laughs> this is all about 10 15 no not 15 is it 15 yeah 10 15 years ago now i did all that <laughs> doesn't time fly oh don't don't start doing this off an empire Hmm. See, they've been really good up to now. With all these end turns, they've not been causing any trouble. But now, they're deciding to... Uh, to, be, to be a pain. Oh well, based on previous... Previous experience, this does seem to... The worst... The... It does sort of fix itself. It's not a case of it will be like this forever. It does seem to... You know, it gets worse and then it gets better again. As the eye figures out what it wants to do. But you can't always agree with it. You can't always predict when things are going to happen. What it's going to try and do. Said so, so it many times before. The Ottoman Empire is the real MVP. They kill your computer rather than kill you in the game. I suspect they're just moving lots of troops around. Hopefully Russia tries to, tries to take them out. Actually, Venice... Or is it... Or is it Venice might not be dead. Venice might own North Africa. Looking at the map, I remember them going. I think I remember them going them going south, or it might have been Britain that took it. I get confused. Sometimes I get so many campaigns going on, I forget the spectacular ways in which the the AI decides to do things. Yeah, I suspect after this end turn, I'll probably... Ooh, it's actually... Yeah, you can see. It seems to know. It knows. Well, I'm going to try kill it. 
it knows, and then it decides it doesn't want to die. Is it priest? Not priest. March. Can you not put a fort in the woods? Prepare palisades. You take position here, ready to move in. Next turn, you guys will scoot out. New town in Algon Algonquin territory. Here, have a craft workshop. Okay, those are our new upgrades. So yeah, if they do land... If they do land here... West India Company? Oh yeah, that's, that is here. This is the West Indies. Um, yeah, if they land to take St. Augustine, that would be handy, because then these guys will just go and Sir. take it, and we'll get access to these plantations, and it'll all get exported through Mobile. That'd be great. But nothing else to spend the money on. Um, okay, so I'm going to cut the recording here, click end turn, and I'll bring you guys back at the start of the next... Well, let's start of the next turn, so see you in a second, everyone. Aha! Uh -huh. Sweden comes to us with an interesting offer, advanced irrigation for two grand, and I think I might do it because they're fighting with Spain, and it's in my interest that Spain is against a, is fighting a difficult power. Okie dokie, pirates are causing more problems once more. Gentlemen in New France, let's get you to here, to Oneida. More troops are gathering for this army yes. to the south, but I'm just going to let them let them grow organically. Well, I say that, then I immediately do this. I can't recruit two Coeur de Bois. I think I'd probably like... There you go, that'll do. Well, we'll have to do it from here. Coeur de... oh, no, no, I've got my Grenadiers are showing up. March you guys down. My Grenadiers are up here. So march you guys around to here. These guys to occupy the fort. Although it looks like. Trade agreement with Austria cancelled. Fine, let's get it with someone else. There you go, Sweden. Not Sweden, Spain. Let's trade. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to move them here. To go threaten Albany, or maybe I might just, hmm, I might just hold them here to respond to where these guys go. It's probably a good idea. No sense of shame for one of my, one of my dudes. Let's move you around to support the garrison, actually. There you go. This may, this stack may eventually evolve into its own army. Doki, four turns to go my back ascent, five turns of paddling furnace, but to be honest I might actually just set you switch straight on socket bayonet. Maybe military syllabus to get drill school in order to recruit more types of unit. So the Ottoman intern wasn't actually that long. Well I mean it wasn't last time so I'm actually gonna bring it back. Austrians are deploying troops to attack Morocco, which is pretty neat. Spain is being Spain. I had a fairly typical audio cutoff during this recording, so this is going to be a bit, a bit funny for me to check out <laughs> when I end up um, actually editing it. Yes, sir. Yep, so 13 colonies have moved 
up towards Fort Bellegard. One more turn, maybe a stone fort. March you guys over here. Get my priest in, not my priest, my gentleman into the school. Oh, actually, you've got three there. You've only got one there. Let's remove Charles Suffering. He's not my best, but he's not the weakest either. Over. Good stuff. And I think. I think now is the time. Let's not upgrade this in case we lose it to raids. The French can't make up their mind about what they want to do. But I think we do. Let's check out the diplomatic problems. They're only at war with the pirates. They're a protector of Britain. We're already at war with Britain, so it doesn't matter. Open negotiations. Cancel trade agreement. Now they are immediately hostile. <laughs> I suppose you lose that 130 benefit and our total goes down to minus 50. Which is pretty big. You could do with artillery. It says recruit a 12 pounder. If I move up to the border, I think next turn I can jump on them. So we've lost a bit of trade income with them. Spain and Sweden are being blockaded. Okay, let's hit end turn. So I would I would declare war, but I want to try and see if I can jump onto Maine in one move. That would be my preference. Damn! The Austrians are doing a nice bit of expansion. You're not going to block them into the Mediterranean. They're probably going to be at war with Spain then. If they aren't already. Because Spain is usually hard-coded to go for... Go for Morocco. Well, not hard-coded. I don't know that. It's a suspicion. They usually go for Morocco, so it feels right that they would probably dislike Austria for taking it. There you go, this part's probably going to be, this episode's going to be much longer than I planned, especially as it's meant to be an hour special in not very many parts. But, you know, sometimes when you when things are going well, when you've got momentum when you're recording, if you're in the mood to record, you're in the mood to play, just just do it. You know, I've got to work up. So, you guys, um, I need to record enough videos to get me to about the 3rd, 3rd or 4th of January. Because I'm not going to be at my computer from the 12th of December to the 3rd of November. And that works out at about... 22, 23 videos in advance I need to be up before I leave for Christmas. And that's, I need, they need before I leave for Christmas, you know, before I leave in mid-December, by then I need to have all of my videos, or I want to have all of the videos I need while I'm away, up and done. And I don't want to rush it at the end of the year, so I'm recording it now, well, I don't want to rush it later on, but I want to record now while I'm in the mood and I'm motivated and I'm enjoying it. Because I think I produce better content and it means I enjoy it, it means I have fun doing it. It's a whole bunch of water powered cloth mills and that's more almost completely offset our income loss. Declare war. Let's call in our allies, let's see if they join them, join us. They do, damn it. No ideal. You can't make it in one turn. So they may, they'll probably take Charleston. Ideally, as long as I get Philadelphia, as long as I get these chunk, this chunk, I'm okay. I could probably get Annapolis and Williamsburg. Yeah, that's our artillery. Forward. Don't want to march forward. Sir. I want to see what the 13 colonies do. Do they hit Fort Bellegarde? This seems like it might have been a bit of a stretch. <laughs> but no, I'm still, I'm still glad I've got it. Um, okay. 
So you instead go for socket bayonet and oh, you've already got the draw school. Um, don't need to put walls around Quebec. Roads in Rupert's Land? No. Everything's pretty much upgraded as well as it can be. And I've got, well, nearly. Not going to upgrade them yet. And I'm on 48 grand in the, uh, in the bank. At the ready. So yeah, you're waiting on your grenadiers, wherever they are. There they are. See, when you get down to the metal roads down here, they can go, they can move so fast. So you would get two units of grenadiers. Let's get another unit of cavalry. Then you'll be ready to hit some colonies. Probably, maybe Nassau. Because these guys will break fairly easily. Michael McDowell. Okay, and because the 13 colonies, not 13 colonies, because the Ottoman interns are still a bit funny, they're, they're, well, no, they're not so bad. Let's crack on here and turn. Um, I'm not going to end this episode until I lay siege to Maine. If the armies don't move around Philadelphia, that's great, because it means I'll just push on and take Boston and New York and then have a really strong front line against the Protestant colonials. And the Ottoman turn is actually progressing really fast. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Thirteen colonies have fallen back. The Mughals are moving in. They've taken the last pirate region. So they have a foothold in the continent. Thirteen colonies just took someone. They just took Charleston. Government by consent. I researched. Okay, now you go for Coke Blast Furnace. Or maybe even Punch Card Loom, because I've got so many textile industry buildings. Got a rake. Let's send the rake down to Philadelphia to get visibility. You're still converting Boston. really isn't isn't that much I can do but that's a pretty nice Philadelphian army Louisiana army not Philadelphian army yeah they took Charleston and knocked it down um, so I'm tempted to go just take just take all money because it's free for the want of a better word like I can, I can take it and leave it, and then be ready to defend. Where's Theodore Mirabeau? He will attack the city. But looking at what probably the timer will be, if I think about all the recording I've done, it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.